Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. So this will be my uh, first time clear of uh, Izanami, and um, I did want to wait until she just appeared in the uh, the daily rotation, uh, because if you beat that, then you can get the uh, guaranteed drop. Um, but I had some free stamina, some free time on my hands, <laughs> so I went through the uh, library, and um, yeah, I took this team and tried to get the drop. And I'm sure I've said this before, um, but I actually don't like playing the Izanami mission. I still find it difficult, even today, and uh, kind of a little bit random. Um, the uh, previous video I put up was uh, Bishamonten. If you, you know, kind of follow the order of uh, steps, then, you know, every play will be pretty much the same. Uh, but I feel like with Izanami, there's lots of, like, variables and lots of random stuff that can happen. Uh, which is why I don't like using me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, to talk about the team that I'm using, first I'm using a Sanctuary Dragon. Uh, he is still my only max luck with uh, no gravity barrier, so I decided to bring him. I wanted uh, more drops. Uh, next I'm using a uh, Jabberwocky, the uh, Evolution. And uh, he is a Super Extreme. I was uh, lucky enough to get him. And uh, he is a Bounce with no gravity barrier. Uh, and also a Strike Shot Reducer. And then he has a Meteor Strike Shot, which is good for uh, this mission. Uh, if you're in a pinch, you can use it in the, uh, the zombie stages, or you can save it for... I usually like to use it the last stage uh, to get rid of the two uh, red dragons. And then he's got the, uh, the Breath uh, Bump combo, uh, which is pretty strong. Uh, same as uh, Nanami. And actually, uh, Jabberwocky Evolution really kind of works the same as uh, Nanami uh, uh, Transcendent. A bounce, uh, no gravity barrier, blue with a uh, breath bump combo. So, yeah, I look forward to using him in uh, Nirvana as well. Uh, next up is uh, Karen uh, Evolution. She's a bounce with no gravity barrier and no warp. And so, yeah, there are some warps in this mission, so she can uh, help me out there. She has the uh, lock-on pierce wave bump combo, which is fairly strong. And then a strike shot, where she becomes a pierce until she hits a wall and then reverts. And that can be useful, because there are some chances to pinch uh, in this mission. And then my friend, I'm using a Tequila Transcendent. I uh, used her just kind of for old time's sake. <laughs> Um, but she's still one of the best for this mission, and she's got that new uh, double uh, vertical laser, which is gigantic and crazy. And then, uh, yeah, she's got that same strike shot where she makes the boss's weak points appear, uh, which works really well with her bump combo. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't like actually using the old... Um, in this mission, um, because you want to keep her towards the bottom of the screen, um, and that's not always preferable uh, during this mission. Uh, there's things like warps, there's uh, dangerous attacks down there, uh, but with the transcendent form, where you can position her top or bottom, uh, that really improves her uh, playability, I think, so uh, I like her again. <laughs> and really great artwork. I like how they did kind of like a more sort of adult looking. Uh, face and that kind of thing, so... Alright, so we're going pretty smoothly through these uh, zombie stages. Uh, one thing I was worried about with this team is that I only have two water characters, um, so I was afraid that the amount of damage that I would take would be very high, uh, but it turned out to be okay. Okay, boss sequence. Okay, pretty good positioning there. And then, uh, yeah, I guess the tequila had a um, knockout able berry, so we were able to stun the boss. So just to make sure we get another turn out of that knockout, we'll just use a laser on that uh, zombie. So yeah, we'll skip that attack from Izanami. And then go back to doing damage. 
Alright, pretty good. Uh, this might have been a good time to use Karen's uh, Strike Shot, actually, to become a Pierce, but I guess I didn't think of it. Alright, but no problem. We'll get rid of the boss with uh, this attack. Oh, another uh, stun there. Okay, second boss stage, and this might be the most difficult of the boss sequence. Uh, we want to get rid of the uh, red dragon up there in the upper left. <clears throat> so yeah, all of my guys, I'm going to try to move over to that upper left corner. Uh, see if I can take that guy out. And here again might have been a good time to use uh, Karen's Strike Shot. <laughs> Alright, but that turned out okay. Okay, and then here finally we'll get rid of the, uh, the Red Dragon. Okay, good positioning for Tequila. And then I think we'll also get a bit of a match shot there, yeah. Um, yeah, the match shot on the bottom of Yuzunami of this stage is a little bit easy. Just do a shallow angle uh, slightly up. And then you can catch on the uh, weak point and get the match shot. And then uh, for this stage, I usually like to get rid of the zombie first, and then the uh, warp monster next, and then uh, go after the boss. Alright, so zombie first. Here come the warps. I'm gonna try to keep Tequila in that position there. Whoops. Alright, but with this bump combo we should be able to get rid of him. Alrighty. We'll try to go after Tequila again, and fail, <laughs> uh, but that puts us in pretty good position for the next stage. Um, so I'll try to keep uh, Jabberwocky there. <clears throat> okay, here finally, let's use Karen's uh, Strike Shot. Okay, get on the other side, set off the bump combo. Yikes. And then here we'll just do an up and down shot with Tequila, try to keep maintain her positioning down there. And that'll be good for the next stage as well. Alright, more bump combos. Pick up the heart. No, okay. Okay, and then uh, this last stage is where I like to use a, any meteor strike shots that I have. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have access to the two red dragons. Uh, we'll use it anyway, we'll go for a pinch shot. Yeah, so decent pinch shot, and then the meteor damage, so almost 2 million damage. Alright, and the boss is almost gone, so we'll forget about the red dragons and just go after Izanami. Alright, let's use Tequila as a strike shot, reveal all of the weak points. Very good. And positioning is good. And we'll get the bump combo in there, and that should be it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get the drop. We have a pretty good chance since I uh, used the max lock. And there she is. Oh, there's a couple. Alright. So, one to level up, and then one I'm going to save as um, materials for Avalon. So that is that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue to uh, get characters together. Uh, still need to make uh, Queen Butterfly, And then uh, we'll see if we get any more Hatcher monsters in the future for uh, Izanami. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.